Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Guys, today in this video, you will understand how to take access of networking device remotely. So I am going to configure on real device by the way, right? Not on packet tracer on MGNS3. I am going to show you practically. So we have two options. We have two services, right? To take remote access of networking device. Number one is telnet and second one is SSH. Either you can configure telnet or SSH on Cisco device, right? So I have Cisco router. I am going to configure telnet or SSH on Cisco router. Then I will show you how to take remote access of that device. Okay. So guys, without wasting our time, let's begin. So guys, as you can see, this is my router, right? This is Cisco router. So series of this router is Cisco 2800 series router, right? And this is power supply port, right? This is power supply port and this is power cable. So one end of this cable is connected to my board as you can see over here, right? Let me connect other end over here on this port, right? And guys, you can see this is console port of router right so console cable is connected right this is console cable one end of this cable is connected to my computer right so i will configure telnet through console cable and then i will show you how to access this device from my laptop remotely fine so let me connect this console cable on this in this port fine now let me show you some more port of this router so here you can see here is two more port first one is f0 slash 0 and second one is f0 slash 1 fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and fast ethernet 0 slash 1 so i will connect my ethernet cable on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 to take remote access fine so if we have connectivity then you can access this device from anywhere right from anywhere so guys this is router you can see how it's look like right so this is flash memory this is flash memory right now so guys let me turn on the device and let me show you my computer screen to you right let me open my computer screen let me show you my computer screen to you okay so guys this is my computer screen let me open putty to access this device by console cable click on serial and open okay now enter no let me increase the font size font size is too small so appearance change and bolt okay apply now now let me configure ip on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 right let me configure interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 no shutdown ip address 10.0.0.1 dot Two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero, right? So IP address on fast Ethernet zero slash zero is ten dot one, right? After that, username suppose username is CCNA and password username and password username password password is suppose one two three, okay? After that, enable password enable password is one two three okay now line vty zero let me create line vty and vty zero enter so at a time i want to access by only one device so that's why line vty zero login local and password so password is one two three okay now exit 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 now guys 
you can see the configuration of this router right so username is ccna password is 123 right on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 ip address is 10.1 submit mask is 255.0.0.0 and here you can see line vty 0 and line vty 14 login okay so now now i will access my router by ethernet cable right remote access so if you have connectivity right so if you have connectivity then you can access this device from anywhere from anywhere by telnet okay so first of all let me configure ip on ethernet port so ethernet change adapter setting go to change change adapter setting let me let me connect my ethernet cable on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so now you can see cable is connected so go to property ipv4 and ip address is 10.0.0.2 default gateway is 10.0.0.1 it's fine right okay now now let me open putty again okay first of all let me ping 10.1 let me check connectivity ping 10.0.0 yes it's pinging right so i have connectivity to my router now let me open putty and this time i will access through telnet okay so click on other after that ip address of your router so ip address is 10.0.0.1 and open so you can see this router is asking for username so username is ccna let me increase font font size appearance change bolt 18 okay okay apply so username username is ccna okay password is 123 now you can see i have access in user mode enable after that enable password is 123 now you can see i have access of my router right by telnet so this is how you can configure telnet and ssh as well right if if you want to configure ssh right so definitely command is different but the the process is same right in the same way you will take ssh by putty right or line console zero let me configure password password one two three four anything right so anything you, whatever you want to configure on this router you can configure now right so this is how guys you can configure telnet and ssh on real device and <clears throat> how to take remote access of networking device right like router switch okay okay so that's all for today if you have any doubt any concern any query you can put your query in comment section right i will make you understand in upcoming video in next video okay and one more thing how you can uh, how you, you will access ssh if i will configure ssh on my router then how you will access right so let me close it let me open putty again and let me show you how to access this device by ssh okay so click on putty after that click on ssh and ip address of your router 10.0.0.1 and open okay now you can see i am getting error actually ssh is not configured on my router that's why i am getting this error right so if you will configure ssh then definitely you will get access by ssh as well so ssh is more secure than telnet right so that's why in real time we are using ssh protocol okay so bye bye guys thanks for watching bye